Good morning, my cold-blooded army. It is a beautiful cold morning down here in Texas. It is 20-something degrees, and it is a beautiful day to go to the first Repticon Dallas of 2018. So I'm gonna head there now, make some bad choices. You guys know how I do that. Um, last year, or the last Repticon I went to, I picked up a Cayman, I picked up a couple sugar gliders, I picked up a Dumeril's Boa, picked up a whole bunch of mice and rats and stuff, which is kind of needed. Um, but not so much into the other junk I bought and a tarantula as well. So we will see how I come out today. I do kind of want to look for possibly Euromastics. Um, I need to get away from buying pets, so I need to focus more on what's going to grow the company, but I can't help it. I love the reptiles. I love the beauty. I love everything about them. So I will take you guys along with me, see what we can find and see what kind of trouble I get into. Don't tell the wife. I'm sitting here driving trying to figure out what to do about the weather since it's so cold to make sure you obviously take care of the animals. And uh, I had a great epiphany, and I don't know why I've never thought of this before. If I brought my motorcycle, I couldn't buy as much stuff. I'd save a lot of money. Maybe a good way to start doing that. So I may have to look into that for the next round. And days like today, we keep the rats frozen even longer, so that's a plus. We'll see what happens next time, though. Didn't do that today, so I'm just going to have to control myself. Maybe. Alright you guys, all wrapped up at Repticon 2018, hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Some beautiful, beautiful animals. They had a few ball pythons that said world's first that were going for like $800 and uh, not buying that one. They had like a leopard, uh, gosh, leopard spot nose and a few other leopard combos that they were claiming to be world's first from a breeder that I'm not going to name. And something tells me if it's a world's first, you're not going to have it for $800. Some beautiful, beautiful paradox bananas that I saw. Uh, I may look at doing some paradoxing stuff in the future. I know it's really hard to get that to pass on, but see about getting a few paradox, male and females, and see what we can make with those. Uh, went pretty well. I didn't make too many bad choices. Stop looking at me like that. Y'all are worse than my kids. Every time I come home from a show, they say, Daddy, what'd you buy? Daddy, what'd you buy? Just because I go to a show, it doesn't mean I'm going to buy something. But y'all are sitting there looking at me, you want to know what I bought. I did okay. I didn't... Well, uh, I mean, you know. Okay, I bought stuff. First one I picked up is this beautiful little Brazilian bird-eating tarantula. This is actually the salmon phase. You can see a little bit right there above the rump. Uh, this dude is tiny. He's technically a sling. I think he's a little bit bigger than a sling. He, I got this one because he molted somewhere in there. Oh, right there on the corner. Sorry, I couldn't find it on the camera. So he is healthy and happy and going to be a really, really cool addition to the collection. He's our second tarantula. We do still have our little Choco Golden Knee. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. I've never worked with one this tiny, but I think, well, I'm hoping it's going to make it a little bit easier. He has all the hair on his abdomen, so I know he just molted too, but I'm hoping that that kind of indicates maybe he's nice. 
What, if he jumps on me, I will freak out and then have to apologize for all the bad words that I said. And I'm sorry, camera's shaking there. There he is. Dude, is absolutely beautiful. I don't ever think we're going to get into breeding. I had a breeder try and talk me into it a few weeks ago. And I said, what do you do with all the babies when they're so little? How do you keep those contained? And he said, well, you kind of don't. They just get out. And so I don't really want to have to burn my house down because there's baby tarantulas everywhere. So I'm not going to breed. But this dude is really cool. I've always wanted one, so I'm glad I got that. Purchase number two was our little pixie frog here. And this dude is tiny as well. Uh, I'm trying to get him to jump out because I'm on my truck. He's next to my finger, just tiny. And he's going to be a beast. So we will definitely give you guys some updates on that as he grows and gets massive. Uh, no reason on this one just always really wanted one i started first couple frogs i did were the pac-man frogs and um started doing the tree frogs and things like that and just always really wanted to work with one of these guys just because they're so cool and so big so this will be kind of a fun collection or fun addition to the collection and no real reason i know i said earlier i don't need any more pets but he's going to be our little pet and my last one how freaking cool is this dude he is a little baby. Look at that baby, buddy. Come here. He's a killer. Arr, 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 eat your face. <laughs> that is my little snapper. Look at this dude. Always wanted to get one of these as well. So it's been kind of a cool show just for stuff like that. Um, really good deals on stuff. First time in, I don't know how many years, I didn't spend a bunch of money. Less than 100 bucks on animals, which is like a new record for me. This dude is so cool. And so he's going to go in the pond with the caiman and the other turtles. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I tipped him over. But we're going to have to keep him separate for a little bit, let him get big, let him get used to us. And uh, yeah, and you know I'm a nerd, and so you guys already know you're looking at little Bowser right there. Bowsy, Bowsy! You say thank you. Thank you. Hey, little buddy. Love you. All right, guys. Beautiful message today, and I have a little bit of a confession to make. I got a little stumped this week. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to say. And so I got a little help from a special buddy of mine. So Brielle, I owe you a big glass of chocolate milk, girl. I appreciate the help. She said that her favorite scripture is one where it talks about God never leaving us. And so for those of you that don't know, that is Hebrews, specifically Hebrews 13, 5. And it says... Uh, the short version of it is never I'll leave you, never I'll forsake you. And the longer version, five through six, says, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, which is a lesson for all of us. God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. And because he said that, we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? It doesn't matter if you're a little girl or you're a big tatted up dude. God's always with us. And we always want to know that. You know, there's always that fear of us that we have. And it's natural, that fear of being abandoned, that fear of being left. And when we get left by somebody who is the creator of the universe, that's a scary thing to think about, man. That's bigger than your dad leaving or your mom leaving or losing a loved one. That is, that is huge. But he knows us all by name. Our names are all written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And we are all loved. He knows how many hairs are on our head. And he knows when the sparrow falls. And if he knows about a sparrow... What do you think he knows about the people who are created in his image? By him, by his hands. So no matter what it is that you have going on in your life, sometimes we feel like we are so alone. We feel like we've been abandoned. And God promises us, he's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. So you want to remember, it's one that I struggled with a long time ago. And I got it right there. Never will I forsake you. Did I do that backwards? Never, yeah. never will I leave you. It's upside down. That's why it looks weird. There you go. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. And I apologize for that armpit shot. Not everyone wants to see a big old hairy man pit, but it was there. It smells okay, though, which is always good, which is amazing after a long day like today. Um, but yeah, of all the things, of all the promises, of all the things that God says, it doesn't matter how far we run, it doesn't matter what we try and do or what we say, he's never going to leave us. And I see that so many times in my life. We're growing up, and I don't want God with me at all. And I ran and God said, man, I'm going to pursue you because there is something different about you and I love you and you're my child and you are special to me. And because of that, it changed me and it helped me to fall in love with my creator. 
And so if you guys are, are struggling with that and you're running and you feel like maybe God's not there with you, I promise you he is. And that doesn't always help. I've always been able to tell looking back on my life that the times when I felt like God wasn't there, when I wondered why things were happening, when I look back on it, once I get through it, I can see him every step of the way protecting me and guiding me and providing and doing everything that he promises he's going to do, including never leaving and never forsaking us. If you guys ever have something you need help with, if you feel like you've been left, if you feel like God's forsaken you, then please reach out. We are more than happy. We are blessed and honored to serve you guys and to help. We are always here for you. Hope you guys have an awesome, incredible week. I love you guys. May you be blessed to be blessing those around you. We'll catch you next time.